<clears throat> Before it's too late, go to the abandoned base of the Starval Pavilion where my mom was last seen. Why is it so hot all of a sudden? And a little... This feeling is exactly the same as when I was drunk six years ago. Something's wrong with the ice cream. You're so easy to fool, aren't you? When I get your mother's relics, I'll let you enjoy all those men. Cheyongkwe, I found many men for you. And I'll take photos and videos of you myself. Ah, I promise to make you have a great time. Is that so? Say when you are. How dare you use a little kid selling ice cream to get to me? Luckily, since I got caught last time, I have prepared the antidote with me. I'd like to see his trying to hurt me this time. Cheyongkwe, you tricked me. You let go of me. It's called getting a taste of your own medicine, Chen Wenwei. Enjoy it. Come on, guys, come on. What are you waiting for? Do it. Hi, Miss Chen. We meet again. Mr. Seven, what are you doing here? You could never can. Think about how you're going to pay for this favor. I saw your car, so I just followed you. It's you. You really are a troublemaker. No, I'm not. I was just going home from dinner with Mr. Seven. Then I was drugged by this bad woman. Tell me, should I cut her into pieces? It would be too merciful to cut her into pieces. Doesn't she like to be drugged? Then let her enjoy the pleasure of the drug. Mr. Seven, I'll leave it to you. Yes, sir. Come in. Ah! Ah! <laughs> she you away! How dare you drug me! <laughs> and let those men... That's called trying to steal a chicken only end up losing the rice you stole the red. Shut up! Why are you mad at me? I'm not your enemy. Do you want revenge? I can help you. I'll make your life worse than death! Che Wonyue is looking for my mom's relics, but all things she left me? are ordinary except for the necklace and tattoo i got for my 18th birthday mom told me not to let anyone see them are the necklace and tattoo hiding secrets even more important than a bank card Jingwe, you've got me into this mess do you want to go to jail if i make a phone call call the police do you have any evidence no i can't i can just refuse her directly let me see what she up to what do you want? What do I want? I'm giving you a chance. As long as you give me your mom's relics, this whole thing could be just cleared up. You want my mom's relics? Okay. But you have to give me back the bank card that my mom left me. You have to give me back the bank card that my mom left me. What are you doing with that card? I give you the relics. I have to have something to remember her by. Besides, haven't you already taken all the money out of the card? Give it to me. You have nothing to lose. Alright then. Tomorrow night, let's trade at the abandoned shopping street in the eastern suburb. My mom's relics. Must be hiding something. But what's it hiding? Is this... Not just a normal tattoo? Wow, this tattoo is actually a set of numbers. No wonder my mom told me not to let anyone see it. 
But what does this number mean? <laughs> this is what's left of that crazy woman? That's my mom. Show some respect. I brought you the stuff. Where's the bank card? All right. The deal is over. I'll leave first. Xian Wan Yue, you're so unrepentant. Do you still want revenge? A knife for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Xian Wei, you dare to frame me. I'll make you pay back a hundred times over. Take it away! <laughs> Uncle, the new version of the script has been adjusted. Let's arrange for someone to test it. Mr. President, bad news. Shen Yue was ambushed and taken by Shen Wen Yue. Where did they take her? I'll go save her. Hey, you little girl, I know you worry. But you have to consider your age and strength. Am I strong enough? Yan Yan. With the adult job, just leave it to the adult. I promise you, I'll bring your mom back safely, okay? You don't allow me to save my mom, then I'll ask my brother to save her. You think you've got my mom's relics? But everything I gave you was fake. This truck can make you unable to resist, but keep you conscious, Cheyong I'm telling you, every day from now on, I'll make you regret living in this world. Fuck you! I'll leave this bitch to you guys. Feel free to play with her. If she dies, someone will collect her corp. <laughs> we can do whatever we want. Then I'll just take it. Don't come any closer. Let go of me. Let go of me. Let her go. <laughs> Are you okay? Mr. President, what a coincidence. Shen Yingwei, why is it that every time I see you, you're always in such a mess? Do I? In terms of being in a mess, Mr. Seven has seen it most often. Is he and Mr. Seven taken hostage by robbers, encountered by a black car driver, bullied by Li Shua? Doesn't all yes, this count? Yes, they all count. Thank you, Mr. President. You're so smart, so brilliant. You always show up exactly in time. While I wonder how the President managed to be here in such an accurate time. I've received an admission that Mr. Lee is looking for someone to hurt you, to take revenge for Li Shua. As the President of the company, of course I have to protect my own employee. What I didn't expect was that before the Lee family made their move, Shen Wen Yue came to you first. Should I be angry? That my privacy has been violated, I thank you. Go to hell! <laughs> Yi Shen Jun, are you okay? A small burn. Nothing serious. Shen Wen Yue, do you really think I don't know that? You're making a deal with the Li family. Guys, drag her out. Teach her a lesson. And then give that old man Li Rongsheng. And let that old man know, not everyone can be touched. Papa, you all deserve to die! You all deserve to die! Take a good rest. During this time, don't worry about the company. I'll inform the HR department to give you a paid leave. But, you seem to be more hurt than I am. You've got conscience. When you recover, we'll have to calculate the cost of rescue you, lost labor, medical expenses for saving you. What a penny-pinching scrooge, Ivan! Ouch! I... I've got a headache. What did I just say? Oh, Mr. President, you're so brilliant. Thank you for saving my life. I would like to invite you come to my home for dinner. My cooking skills is even better than my tea making skills. Dinner is fine, but it's not repayment for saving your life. By the way, your tattoo... Mom! I'll beat them to a pulp. Mr. President, I didn't pay attention to it before, but now when I look at you too closely, I found that Enshan looked exactly like you when you were little. In fact, I've secretly done a paternity test with Mian Mian. The result shows that we are not father and daughter, but Shang Yu's tattoo makes me suspect that the test might be tempered with. Find a chance to do it again. Yes, sir. 
Uncle, where is Shen Wanyue? Tell me, I'm gonna go beat her up to avenge my mom. Uncle has already beaten her up. It's the adult's job. Let the adults take care of it. I won't let your mom suffer. Is that so? The way he's talking, really like you and Ying. Thank you for saving my mom. We'll take care of the rest ourselves. When I take off my mask, it will be the time for you to know the reason. But the prerequisite is, you're qualified to make me take it off our meeting today. It's over. Confidence in his work, the way he talks and hate are so familiar to Yan Ying. Could he really be Yan Ying? That's right. No matter how powerful they are, we can handle it. What ambitious boy. But Shen Wan Yu represents the Shen family. The Shen family is backed up by the Starfall Cabinet. Starfall Cabinet has been the power for decades. It's a huge organization. They'll do anything for money. Can't be fixed by ambition alone. We're not only ambitious, but also intelligent. And Shen, it's a personal problem between Mom and Shen Wan Yu. Besides, the President has caught her. Mr. President, my children are not six years old yet. You're making up stories to scare them. They'll have nightmares. Okay, now that the matter has been settled, Mr. President, shouldn't you withdraw your men who are protecting me secretly? Aren't you afraid of danger? You have men watching me. How can I find out where my mom is? The city is so safe and since when you and the pervert has been caught, there should be no danger for normal citizens like me. She should rush to get me off the case. Do you have something else to depend on? Or are you in a hurry to do something alone? How many secrets are you hiding? Okay, fine. Yi Shen Jun has withdrawn his men. I finally have a chance to the abandoned base of the Sarfall cabinet to find the clues to my mom's disappearance. Who's there? Go ahead. In here looks like a laboratory. <gasps> uh, mom? There's something here about my mom. So my mom's disappearance is really related to the Starfall cabinet? I found you. Get her for me. You know well enough. Why did you come out? You want to die? You followed me? Yun Xiao brought you a snack and he saw you run out of the hospital. What's wrong with him? What's the point of bringing me a snack? You should thank him. It's dangerous here. Come with me now. Wait a minute. I've got some very important information here. Let's go. Ye Xing Jun and Shen Yun Wei are getting away. No, Dad. We can't let this bit Shen Yun Wei run away so easily. Starfall cabinet is in a place where they can just come and go as they like. You get in the car first. Shen Yun, quick! Go to hell! Ah! Go die! You will die! Your knife is poisoned. Shen Wan Yue, six years ago at the Sunshine Villa, six years later you drugged me and kidnapped me so many times. You and Xiao Muyang have no conscience at all. Why did you do this to me? Because you deserve to die! 
Why do you have a rich mom? Why were you born as the young lady of the Shen family? And I'm an illegitimate daughter. Why? I got pregnant and had an abortion for Brother Muyang. But you just moved your finger and Brother Muyang will come back to you. Shut up! Who started it? So what if it was me? You're still alive, aren't you? Not only are you not dead, you even have covered Mr. Seven and Mr. Ye. All the men in the world are after you. I'm the most miserable one. I only have Brother Muyang, but you found men to win me. She won't win. I won't spare you. Mr. President, what's wrong with you? Have you lost your mind? Is the gossip about Shen Wenyue and me that's interesting? Six years ago, who did you meet in the grove outside in the Sunshine Villa? Did you have this tattoo six years ago? Shen Yangue! Shen Yangue! Hey! Watch out! You've just been detoxified. You have to get up more slowly. He's so nice to me suddenly. He must have purpose. No way, I'll take the chance. I'd like to thank you for saving my life, and I have nothing to return the favor. When I leave the hospital, I'll come to the president's office and make you a super tasty tea. The tea should be made, but repaying the favor is inevitable as well. Shen Wenyue has been taken away by the police, but to make sure she never gets out, it's not enough for her to commit an attempted murder. We also need to investigate her kidnapping of you six years ago. Oh, such a sudden kindness. Must be for a reason. Oh, by the way, how did you escape from the Sunshine Villa? Who did you meet on the way? Six years ago? Yi Xin Jun is interested in my tattoo, and he's so concerned about what happened at the Sunshine Villa. Could he be the guy I met six years ago? So, have you forgotten? Do you need me to help you remember? You're just trying to rifle my scars, aren't you? Fine, I can tell you all about it. My boyfriend and sister betrayed me at the same time. They actually found a bunch of men to bully me for money. Luckily, I cut the rope and ran away. Also, thanks to Lian Yuan, she got to the villa in time to pick me up. So your tattoo is? Mr. President, in my heart you're a great warrior. How can you be so indecent? How can you stare at my private part? Your tattoo is very unique. A long lost friend of mine has one too. Oh, I see that's a misunderstanding. I got this tattoo. When I was traveling, I got it randomly. Did your friend also get his tattoo at the store? Okay, that's it. Give me the address. I'll ask my friend someday. She said the same thing as the masked woman. Are they lying together? Or is it the truth? It's a nice store. It's easy to find. Luckily, I've prepared for this in advance to deal with Mr. Seven. Are you really not her? Or are you lying on Okay, purpose? I've got it. Mr. President, is there anything else you want? You're taking care of two kids by yourself. It's hard, isn't it? Where's their father? Him. Mommy! Mommy! Hey, sweethearts. I heard mommy got an infection. Are you okay? Mommy's fine. I'll be out of the hospital in a few days. It's obviously poisoning. You lied to us about the infection. Mom, I... I'll protect you from now on. It's okay. Your mom is fine. It's late. I'll ask you and so to take you home. Yes, it's late. We'll stay here with mom. Mr. President Yi, it's time for you to go home and rest. Yes, Mr. President. You must be busy every day, so we won't bother you. I'll come back to see you when I'm free. Shit, oh, is cunning. True or false, I have to investigate myself. Then, Mr. Ye will cooperate in the fight against the Starfall Cabinet. It's a deal! Happy cooperation! Then he wants to cooperate with me to fight against the Starfall Cabinet? Contact Ye Shenzhen and Mr. Seven at the same time to against the Starfall Cabinet. Yan Ying will go all out. Mr. President. Yan Chao, 
Find out about ancient history. I doubt he's Yang Yang. Yes, sir. She Yong Gui, that bitch is out of the hospital. Why didn't she and one you step her a little deeper? <sighs> Stay calm. She has a necklace related to her mother. But she didn't hand it over. Hey, oh, Mr. Lee, I have seen that necklace. Her mother gave her a necklace as a birthday present. What did the necklace look like? She treated it like a treasure. She never wore it, so I never seen it before. You're really useless. It doesn't matter. As long as the goals is set, the goals will take care of the rest. Shen Yang Gui, right? You look exactly the same as you did when you were a little girl. You haven't changed much. Uncle, I always have a good memory. How come I haven't seen you before? I haven't seen you either, but I've seen you in your mom's picture. What did you say? Do you know my mom? Before we worked together in the institute, my name is Ye Pong Chao. And Miss Lin Yuxian was genius in our institute later. If it wasn't for her illness, I believe she would have won the Nobel Prize. So my mom is such a capable person. No wonder she has so much money. Shi Yongwei! Ah! You bitch! You should not come to high society for being poor. How dare you wear a stolen necklace around your neck? You, you're a crazy dog who bites others without any evidence. You lost your necklace. Why don't you go to the police? Why did you come here to bite me? Do you think I'm easy to bully? Li Shua, you're deliberately trying to smear me. What are you up to? Everyone, please have a look. She's a thief who's trying to catch a thief. This diamond necklace around her neck is obviously the one I lost. It's a limited edition. Only three in the world. Then the one she's wearing doesn't have to be the one you lost. Many years ago, her mom said when she turned 18, she'd give her a valuable necklace. Then this one is probably from her mom. Oh no, the necklace my mom gave me is just put in a photo box. It's not that valuable. This one is... The necklace is the company lent to her. This old box is full of bad intention. He approached Shen Yunshu and proposed. What's he up to? Well, then, in that case, it'll be fine. Ah, uh, I'll be leaving now. Stop right there. You just slapped me. It's absolutely not fine. Medical expenses and mental damages, pay me back now. How dare you? Did you just slap me too? I haven't asked for your compensation yet. But this time, you are the one who started it. Shi Hua, the Li and Yi's family has been friends for generations. Let me be fair. It's your fault this time. You should pay for it. I'll transfer your medical expenses later. Xiao Jun, long time no see. You know each other? I'm his father. Many years ago, I worked with your mom. And now, you work for my son's company. It's fate. It's bad karma. Hey, why didn't you talk for a while? It's been a long time. Why are you walking so fast? He's not my father. I'm warning you. Stay away from him in the future. Wait a minute. Yun Yuan, to get the information on Starfall Cabinet, I'll have to make an appointment with Mr. Seven. Oh, okay. I get it. Then please use the masked woman identity to make an appointment with Mr. Seven for me. Okay. Mr. Seven, I have a business deal I'd like to talk to you about. Do business with me? Well, have you thought about the price you're going to pay me? I have got the information about Starfall Cabinet. In addition, I heard that Mr. Seven is Starfall Cabinet's sworn enemy. When you deal with them, could you take me with you? The last woman just got the risk of Starfall Cabinet's abandoned base for me. Then Shen Yong Wei came out of there. Shen Yong Wei just got information from Starfall Cabinet. Then she has those information. Are they the same person? I want to know if your info has any value. If I make a hasty deal with you, if it turns out that what you have is just what I abandoned, wouldn't that be a loss for me? Here, this is a brief introduction. 
If you're interested, I can show you the full version. It has some value, but not enough. In return of the information of Starfall Cabinet, then you'll have to add something else to make up for it. Mr. Seven, something else? What is it? That info of Starfall Cabinet. Where did you get it? There's the address of the abandoned base of the Starfall Cabinet. In the information on the Shen family, I gave it to one of my best friends. Then here's what she got out of it. Shen Yong Kui? She is only a little designer. I can't believe it. She knew our celebrity, Mr. Seven. Just a little connection. Well, how did you know Shen Yong Kui? She is my aunt's daughter. I received a kindness from my aunt, so I take her to my account. Six years ago, in the Sunshine Villa, she narrowly escaped her sister's murder. I contacted with Lian Yuan to get her out of the country. Yi Shen Jun has an interest in my tattoo. You have an interest in my tattoo too. Only know each other who believes. Luckily, after giving the address of the tattoo store to Ye Chen Jun, I started to patch up a life for the masked woman. Last question. Six years ago, did you go to the Sunshine Villa? Mr. Seven. Why does he care so much about this too? Six years ago, that man was Ye Shen Jun or Mr. Seven? Yes or no? Is it hard to answer? Or maybe you are making up a lies again? Mr. Seven, if you want this info, you need to pay a higher price. But now, you can't afford it. Well, let's exchange the info for the Starfall cabinet first. Thanks, Mr. Seven. I expect our next cooperation. Yun Zhao, find me the image of the Shen Yun Wei and the masked woman. I'd like to see if there are any difference between them. mom give you a necklace for your 18th birthday. A necklace with your picture of you and your mom. Hand it over. That necklace? I never showed it to him. How could he know it? <laughs> Six years ago, Chen Wan Yu and you took all my valuable possession away. How dare you lie? You bring this on yourself. Oh. Oh. A bunch of rough men bullying women? Get lost now. You old bastard! Many believe you! I remember you! You wait! Yeah, boy. are you okay? I'm fine. Why are you here, Mr. Ye? Mr. Ye? Your mother and I are colleagues. I'm your elder, call me uncle. And it's the first time I've seen Xiao Jun fall for a girl. No, no, uncle. You have got it all wrong. Mr. President and me is not what you think. We're just colleagues. This necklace was also lent to me by the company. I'm attending the party for work. Well, you don't have to explain. You said for the job. It's for the job. Actually, I hope Xiao Jun can find his happiness despite he has a misunderstanding with me because of his mom's death. What's the misunderstanding? What's the misunderstanding? Well, every family has its own trouble. Yingwei, it's too late. It's not safe. I'll drive you home. Yi Shen Jun told me to stay away from Yi Hong Tao. If he finds out Yi Hong Tao drives me back, he will kill me. Sorry, uncle. I can drive by myself. I'll be leaving first. Well, drive slowly, okay? Shen Yingwei keeps her sharp vigilance. If I want that necklace, I should paint a picture with a brush in each hand. Call your own Shang immediately. Tell him to go to plane B. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. I'll help you. That's okay. I can do it myself. Lucia collected Enxian's hair? What's he trying to do? Mr. President, here's Enxian's hair. Okay. 
That's my blog. Get the laboratory analysis report as quick as you can. Yes, sir. Yi Shenjun is going to take a paternity test with Enshen. So he's real that man I met six years ago? Whether Yi Shenjun is that man I met six years ago or not, I won't give him the chance to take my children away. It's your turn. Let's go. Um, designer Yun, we're having some problem with the film props. I'm in urgent need of necklace like yours, which can take photo in it. Could you lend your necklace to me? What a coincidence. The director asked for this necklace as soon as he got here. Who set this trap? Shamuya? Alishua? Director, I'm only a designer and I'm not in charge of props. You can ask for others. What are you doing? Robbery is illegal. It was not robbery. I was just rushed to find the right prop. It's okay if you don't lend it to me. Michelle, it didn't work. She doesn't fell for it. Well, tell everyone in the crew. Tonight's your treat. I take Shen Yang Gui to dinner. Then, find a way to get her to eat this.